down to our final game of our Sunday quadruple header as we're still live here at the Rizal Memorial Coliseum for the Shaky Super League. It's the rematch of last season's semifinals matchup in the NCAA JRU taking on Arellano University. Hello everyone who's watching us live on the Plus Network's digital platforms and on the Shaky Super League Facebook and TikTok pages. I'm Ken Pangalinan, still joined here by Kayla Reyes and Kayla We've got two teams revisiting history, but we go straight to our shaky free huddle of the game. The team standings in Pool A, nagkaagulo na sila dyan with victories by UP and Mabua earlier. But in Pool C, we see here uh, JRU with their first game, Arellano looking to bounce back. And I think this match is an um, important win for both squads since they're in the same bracket as the UAAP defending champions, the NU Lady Bulldogs. And so you want to really ensure that you get that win early on in the tournament. And of course, JRU, their very first game, and their head coach there is Mia Tioseco. Sino yung mga dapat abangan dyan sa Lady Bombers, Kayla? For me, I really think Sydney May Niegos and of course, Riza Rose are girls that you have to watch out for and yung mga tao na inaasahan ng kanilang squad. Kasama na rin dyan, Jerilyn Laurente, their uh, setter. As we see their performance, binanggit nga natin, nagtapat sila kontra sa Arellano because they finished number four in the elimination round. They defeated San Sebastian in the first stage before eventually losing against the Lady Chiefs. Meanwhile, we turn you over to Sam San Diego who has something with us. Sam? Oh, actually, we'll go to our venue announcer. Sorry for our player introductions. Good evening, volleyball fans. Once again, welcome to the Rizal Memorial Coliseum here in the city of Manila. This is the Shaky Super League 2022 preseason championship. Let's now meet our protagonist for four, fourth game. Ladies and gentlemen, Arellano University Lady Chiefs. Team captain number 13, Trina Abay. First libero number eight, Alona Kagikla. Number one, Casey Adante. Number two, Mia Dino. Number three, Kat Domasic. Number four, Janice Manundag. Number six, Marian Padillon. Number seven, Laika Tudlasan. Number 11, Dodi Batindan. Number 14, Pau de Guzman. Number 19, Ropi Matawaran. Number 22, Megan Altino. Number 24, Harem Sibalios. And their second libero is number five, Cherry Cuenca. 
And now make some noise for the Sarizal University Lady Bombers. Team captain number seven, Sid Niegos. First libero number five, Yan Yan Alonia. Number one, Jen Silverio. Number two, Malay Amante. Number three, Kaila Hasareno. Number four, Laika Eguera. Number eight, Riza Rose. Number nine, May Ruiz. Number 10, Indai Laurente. Number 11, Danica Villanueva. Number 15, Shanin Breta. Number 16, Kring Batara. Number 18, Cizal Rosario. And their second libero is number 6, Isa Ortiz. And now presenting our officials for match number 16. First referee, Kim Yadao, national referee. Second referee, Erwin Lu Cordero, national referee. Pangalinan at the call. Kasama ngayon si Kayla Reyes. And later on, mapapainggan natin si Sab San Diego, our courtside reporter. And uh, of course, JRU looking for revenge. Samantala naman, Arellano looking to bounce back from their opening loss contra sa Ateneo. Lady Bomber! Middle blocker number one, Jen Silverio. Opposite header number two, Malay Amante. Middle blocker team captain number seven, Sid Niegos. Outside header number nine, May Ruiz. Setter number ten, Indai Laurente. Opposite header number 15, Shanine Preta. And their starting libero is number five, Yan Yan Alonia. Coaching the Lady Bombers is Mia Fuseko. And now the starters for the Arellano University Lady Chiefs. Setter number one, Casey Adante. Outside header number two, Mia Dino. Another outside header number four, Janice Manunta. Opposite header number six, Marian Padillon. Middle blocker number 11, Dodi Batinda. Middle blocker, dream captain number 13, Trina Abai. And their starting libero is number 8, Alona Kakikla. Head coach of the Lady Chiefs is Roberto Javier. Jose Rizal University versus Arellano University. This is the Shaky Super League 2022 Preseason Championship All to Play! Starting lineup sa magkabilang kupunan for JRU Silverio, Malay Amamante, Sid Niegos, May Ruiz, Inday Laurente, Shanin Preta, and their starting libero Marian Alona. Samantala naman for Arellano, different look. Casey Adante starting as their setter here along with Mia Dino, Janice Manuntag, Marian Patillon, Dodi Patindaan, their team captain Trina Abay, and of course Alona Kagugila is their starting libero. JRU in yellow and Arellano in blue. Our referees for this game are Manuel Yadao and Erwin Cordero. This set is brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. 
Adante goes to Dino. Arellano trying to bounce back from that dismal performance, people would say, against Ateneo. And that time, finding a spot in the corner. May Ruiz. May Ruiz, of course, one of the veterans for JRU. They're reeling from the loss of the second best outside hitter, si Dolly Versosa at si Kia Milgar. Meanwhile, Casey Adante with a quick one two play. Smart one two play coming from Adante. Actually, she also played really well in yesterday's match versus Ateneo. Still really activating all her spikers and putting up a great second set fight between Aten with Ateneo. So, in the first game, it was Donalyn Paralejas who started in that match against Ateneo. Actually, same story in the NCA because in the very, their very first match, as Sid Niegos, that spike goes out. This hit coming from Sid Niegos, not being able to hold that ball. So, yun nga, uh, ito si Donalyn Paralias was their starting setter in that first match sa si NCA. But because Casey Adante has had such a wonderful outing, talagang she took over that starting job. Up until the semifinals, para dito kay Coach Oliver Javier. Roberto Javier, rather. Meanwhile, Janice Manuta short on that attack. Coach Obet Javier, of course. The multi title coach steering his team to three straight championships from the, the seasons 92 to 94 of the NCAA. Adante. Sets up Mauntag. Great cross court hit by coming from Mauntag. Janis Mauntag skying high. Look at that replay. Perfect spot. Rina Babay, their new team captain after the departure of Princess Bello, and their former team captain Amay Donato and Yana San Gregorio. Manuntag, easy over, Inday, sabay, sabay po umangat doon si Malay Amante and Shanine Preta and it's Amante scoring that point. Malay Amante just recently celebrated her birthday this past week, only turned 19 years old. In their sophomore year. Ball still alive. Mariente goes to Malay. And she delivers from the right flank. Malay Amante was usually subbed in for Dolly Versosa at that uh, outside hitter spot. But probably tasked to fill a bigger role with the departure of Versosa and uh, Kia Melgar. May Ruiz. Janis. And that is a quick reply from Janis Manuntag. Her form and timing is just really right on that spot. Look at her really finding that Perfect corner, where to place that ball. This spike of the set is brought to you by Potato Corner, world's best flavored fries. Order now. For all. Ruiz. And look at that, May Ruiz converts. And napansin mo, uh, Kayla, yung peculiar timing on her approach, talking about May Ruiz. Yeah, so you can see and notice with her approach, she really just waits for that ball to hit that perfect spot where she could reach it properly. And she has a quick one-two step, which is why she's able to hit that ball on top. Speaking of a one-two step, quick one-two courtesy of Casey Adante. Scoring her second point of the match. Serving for the Lady Chiefs. Five all tayo here early. Laurente sets up May Ruiz and that snap of the wrist. 
Mirui is heating up early in the first set and she's one of the players who her team really goes to and yung isa sa mga inaasahan din. New face here is Shanin Jen Silveri rather. Middle blocker on, will only turn 19 years old this year. So youth movement para dito kay Coach Mia Tioseco. Meanwhile, Mary Ruiz on a rampage. She's so powerful. She can really just break the walls of the blockers. Whoever is in front of her. 7-5 ang ating score. So JRU making a little headway here. As I say that, a service ever. Of course, JRU, their best finish actually in the NCAA after finishing third, defeating San Sebastian in a step ladder semis before, before falling here against the Lady Chiefs. As Arellano went on to the finals to face CSB. That time, attack ever for JRU. Meanwhile, for Arellano, they were the three time defending champions in the NCAA season when, when they participated in the NCAA season 97. But before that, Nature Spring is the official bottled water provider of the Shaky Super League. Went on to the finals but just fell short against CSB. That was a service ace from Arellano as they take on a one point lead here in our first technical timeout. And a lesson, yun nga ang sinabi sa akin ng team captain na si Trina Abaya when I ask, kamusta na ba sila? So because they want to take it as a lesson, but they are back stronger for a fresh start. Ang sabi naman ni Sid Niegos ng Lady Bombers, sila naman daw ay brave, bolder, at bomba. Haharap daw sila ng determinado at ibibigay nila ang best sila for this league. Ano kaya ang pasakop ang gagawin ng Lady Bombers today? Will the Chiefs take lead this time around? Back to the panel. Thank you, Sab. So let's see if JRU will find a fresh start here. I think what's also important for JRU in this match is to really activate Sid Niegos because she's one of their go-to players as well. And of course, I'm sure there is already chemistry built between Niegos and Laurente. Nine serving eight. And Preta overlooks that one. That was a miss hit on Bretta's part. So the Lady Bombers errors piling up here in this set. Good first ball. Laurente sets up Niegos. Adante goes to her opposite hitter. That's number six. Marian Padillon. Great extension of the wrist. And great timing as well, targeting that cross court. JRU was unable to defend that. Laurente, punta kay Niegos. And Niegos scores. Sid Niegos, her first her second point, rather, here. Serving for JRU with 11-9. Adante, Trina Abay from the left flank. 
we have to target that to a great receive, of course, which is why their setter was able to set up a great play. And Metro, if you notice, they're star starting to speed up their sets as well. Mia Dino from Malabon City, one of the veterans for Arellano. Niegos, off speed. Adante, back set. Well covered there by the yellow shirts. Adante, this time goes to her team captain. Great scramble there by JRU. Casey, combination. Padillon was coiled there. Malay Amante. That is out. Another attack error for JRU. Yup, that's already six errors here. Parang hindi nila nahahawakan yung bola ng mabuti. That's why those balls, those result into attack errors. So a little breathing room for Arellano, 13-9. To start contract, contrast rather to their game against, Arilla, against Ateneo. Naunahan agad talaga sila dun eh. Niegos off the block, it drops. It's actually, JR, you're doing a great job setting up their attacks, but and dami lang talaga lang error so far in set number one. Yes, as we can see naman, nakakascore naman sila. So they really, it just goes to show how capable they are. One yes. thing they just have to take care of, of course, is their consistency with, as we just saw, a service error. And also, Minimizing those attack errors, which are really crucial in today's match. Meanwhile, Arellano so far, only one error. Close to perfect ang kanya execution. Abay with a good serve. Laurente goes to Malay Amante. Hindai, this time goes to the left. Preta, drop ball, it works. See Preta starting to variate her attacks more. Hindi lang puro palo ngayon. She's starting to drop and have those short balls instead. Could be one of those new faces na aasahan ni Coach Mia Tioseco. 14-11. Adante set sa patindaan. Goes cross court. And that will drop para dito may patilyon. Great job by Casey Adante mixing her sets. Trying to confuse the defense of JRU. Dikit sa net, but naparaan nandun ni Amante. Manuntag of speed, blocked there by Preta. Laurente sets up. Preta, but... Uh, that set was too low by mababa. coming from Laurente. That's right. We head into our second technical timeout, 16-11, Arellano. Let's take a look here at that mad scramble. Naparaanan doon ng Arellano. And just too low of a set for Preta to convert. As another attack error here by JRU. Timeout here, we'll be right back. Arellano here on a Sunday evening. Hello po sa mga nanonood sa atin live sa Plus Network Digital Platforms and our Shakey's Super League Facebook and TikTok pages. Ken Pangalinan with Taylor Reyes and Sab San Diego on the sidelines. Right now, it's Arellano 16, JRU 11. Good first ball from Alonia. Defense was ready for the blue shirts. Adante, easy over. Recalibration para dito. And look at that combination play courtesy of Malay Amante. 
that was a great combination play. And of course, you can see na natisive din with their middle spiker. Akala ng blockers ng Ar Arellano na yung middle spiker yung papalo. And that cool play of the set is brought to you by R&B Milk Tea. Order now. Manuntag using her left hand. Ruiz sends it over. KC goes back to Janis. Laurente, pumunta kay May Ruiz against two blockers. Chance ball para dito sa Lady Chiefs. Manuntag. Inday, back to May. Long rally here. Punctuated by that hit by Janice Manuntag. She's such a smart player, si Janice Manuntag. Knowing that she's been trying to score in that cross court zone, but instead variated to her attack and changed her target, aiming at the down the line corner. 17 serving 12. So Reliano finished 7 and 2 in the elimination round. Only lost to CSB in San over. Sebastian. And that doesn't go over. Another oh, attack oh, error. Maradino sa JRU. And this forces Coach Mia Tioseco to call timeout. Let's listen in to her other. <laughs> As we heard in that recent timeout, Coach Mia just reminded the girls to organize their movement inside the court because they were going to see in Dai Laurente and her spikers, I think nagkakabanggaan din sila, which is why Coach Mia just reminded the girls to organize so that they will have a more fluid movement in terms of their attacks. Coach Mia Tioseco has been coaching JRU for the last eight years, but finally a best finish for her last season. Meanwhile, Mia Dino with a powerful hit there, scoring her first point. Isa din siya sa mga inaasahan ni Coach yep, and also, Roberto. Also a part of that championship team ng NCAA Season 94. Quick set to patindaan. Laurente, inabol ang bola. Punta kay May Ruiz. Mi, Mia Dino with the dig. Siya na rin tumira. Smart down the line hit by Mia Dino. Mia Dino with an emphatic hit there. The extension and the finish. And has her in a really not able to control that powerful hit. Two straight points for Mia Dino. And a substitution here for JRU. Risa Rose comes in. Para dito ay Silverio. Uy, muntik pa silang hindi magkaintindihan doon. Mia Dino once again, the hat-trick! I mean, this girl is really their veteran, so they will really keep giving and feeding her some sets. Look at her go! And Arellano just oozing with confidence here, and that spike of the set is brought to you by Potato Corner, world's best flavored fries, Order now. Again to Dino off the block. Laurente goes to May Ruiz. Good dig there. Dino off speed. Chance ball for JRU. Laurente quick set and Riza Rosser finally stopping the bleeding for JRU. Good attack by Riza Rosser. Finding that perfect spot for a power tip. So Jerry trailing by eight points. Wow. 
Adante. Talagang pinupunta niya dito si Mia Dino. Great first ball. Dino again. That was blocked there by I believe Sid Niegos or Rob. Mosi and Dino Rente pa. Yung nakatsupal doon. Meanwhile, to Lasan. Palta muna si Adante. And itong si Tumasig will replace Padillon. And that was a perfectly timed block coming from JRU. Knowing that Casey Adante has been going to Mia Dino. Rose with the serve. Setting up the newly inserted Tudlasan. Laurente. Back set. Niegos delivers. Niegos with a running attack. And earlier in the, in the warm-up, I mean, we know that she's a middle blocker. But we see her really attacking in all sides of the court, whether that be in the middle or at the opposite side as well. Showing us the versatility. And he will play a bigger role this time around. Being one of the uh, seniors of the team. And that's a service ace. Service A for Risa Rose. Risa Rose. Four straight points now for JRU. And this serve of the game is brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. Another service ace by number eight, Risa Rose. That brings us to, and co to a coach Obet of your timeout. Pakinggan natin siya. Unang-una yung discussion mo, bakit nag-quick ito? Bakit nag-quick? Dapat pinakinakit mo lang ang bola. Ikaw na nga, nandun ka na, ba't tinutulak mo pa yung kasama mo? Pakalawa yung bola, nandun na, oh, katabi mo na, ba't hindi mo pa nakuha? Decision making ang kailangan dyan. Do decision making lang. Maliit yung setter dito, maliit yung setter. Ang gawin mo, dito ka, dito ka banda, ha? Dito ka banda. Di quattro mo lang ito. Quick, open quattro lang, simple lang. Maliit. As we heard in the timeout by Coach Roberto, he reminded his girls to have better decision making and of course knowing that Inday Laurente is a smaller setter, which is why he reminded his spikers na pwedeng padaanan nila yung bola kay Inday Laurente since she's a smaller blocker. Let's see if they could take advantage of that. Meanwhile, May Ruiz. Dino once again. Laurente just putting the ball over. Mia. And that doesn't go over. So error. Contra dito sa Arellano. Six straight points for the girls in yellow. Inching closer, only down by three points. Arellano led by as much as nine. Dino. Bad time, she won't be denied. Nice bawe coming from Mia Dino. And listening to what her coach just said, na pinadaan niya na lang sa kamay ni Inday Laurente. Ceballos will come in for batindaan. So, ito, serving specialist. Inserted here by Coach Obet Javier. And also to play defense in the back row. Inday. This time to Niegos. Down the middle it goes. Sid Niegos delivering. Scoring that point there. And si Danica Villanueva naman, pinasok dito. Same, same purpose. Chance ball for the blue shirts. Three na abay, quick attack. And that, that is successful for the 
team captain of Arellano. And what's really been working for Arellano is when the setter is able to activate all her other spikers and not just relying on her wing spikers. Couple of substitutions, Casey Adante and Marian Padillon, who both started in this match, returns for Coach Obet. And a timeout here, asked by Coach Mia Caseco. We heard it at last time out of Coach Mia just reminding her go girls to simply move their feet in order to defend all the spikes and attacks coming from the Arellano side. Just a simple reminder, but I think that really is so important. It's medyo natitili sila sa pagpunta ng bola when it comes to their floor defense. So Arellano trying to put this set away. Had a nine-point lead, chopped down to just three points. Meanwhile, that attack almost works. But great cleanup job there. Villanueva. Punta dito ay Hazareno. Dino with a wind up. And that's too strong. Fair error for uh, the Lady Chiefs. JRU still in it. Arellano certainly not out of the woods. And medyo nakahabol rin sila from that huge comfortable lead from Arellano. Arelli Dino this time trying from the right flank. Pero nabasa pa rin ng defense doon. Two straight errors by, G by uh, Arellano. That He was not over, if I'm not mistaken. And medyo na na bother na rin siya sa defense ng dalawa. Tall blockers in uh, Sid Niegos. But in the meantime... Great adjust coming from Abay. That set was a bit too low, pero nagawa pa niya rin ng paraan. Which brings us to set point for Arellano. Dino now serving. Running serve. And that is... Super effective, punctuating this set. 25-21, Arellano wins it here in set number one. Sana may bigay nila yung best nila at ipakita nila yung kung anong glaro na ginagamit nila sa NCAA. Oh, tama nga naman. Pero wait lang guys. So, ipakita na muna natin ang full support of course para sa ating 
ladies in 3, 2, 1, and go! Again? Ang ating cheer para sa ating ladies. Cheer! 1, 2, 3, go! Let's go, Bombers! Let's go! Let's go, Bombers! Let's go! Let's go, Bombers! Let's go! And with that, back to the battle. Thank you, Sav. And those were our Shaky Super fans of the game. And it's brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. Arellano surviving the JRU fight back, winning that set 25-22. So take a look at some of the highlights, Kayla. I think they kita naman yung laban natin, Ken, eh. But for me, JRU really has to minimize their errors, specifically their attack errors. And of course, Arellano to just stay consistent with their attacks because they're capable of so much things. And it's really just important to Stick to their game plan, plan and continue to be consistent. Arellano led by as much as 9 points, 21-12. Although JRU nakahabol, cutting the lead down to as low as 3 points before uh, the Lady Chiefs put it away. And now here in set number 2, of course the all-to-play rule in effect. So panibagong anim sa magkabilang kupunan. And you see here Pau de Guzman inside the court. For Arellano, she'll be one girl to watch out for here. And this set is brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojo snack. Dumasig. Villanueva over two blockers. Good dig by the Guzman. That was a bit too close in the net, but it's a bit too close. Rose, nasa loob na rin as their main middle blocker. Goes to Danica on the left. And she scores! Danica Villanueva normally subbing in for defensive purposes. And good serving, that time scoring. This block of the set is brought to you by Peri Cherry Charcoal Chicken and Sauce Bar. Order now. Villanueva. Rose. And she scores. Two straight points for JRU. Lisa Rose is one of their go-to players as well. And they really have to start activating her if they want to get this set. Two serving zero. That's too long. Two service error. Service error by Jenin and Silverio. Sevillano with their first point. Dumasik with the serve. Uy, nagkaintindihan, nagkahiyan. Miscommunication between Villanueva and Laika Aguera. Aguera. Laika, Laika Aguera, perhaps. I'm could sorry, that was Hazareno on the serve. Aguera could emerge as one of the key cogs for coach Mia Tuseco following the departure of Dolly Versosa and Kia Melgar. Meanwhile, Lisa it's Lisa Ross's turn to score. And she scored that hit coming from the open side. So really, these, these JRU girls are so versatile. They can attack from any part of the court. As we also see with Sid Niegos. We'd like to thank Nature Spring, the official bottled water provider of the Shaky Super League. Rose once again. Scoring three of their five points in set number two. Look at that wind up. Slicing through the defense. Actually, it's 4 2. So, three of the four points. Galing dito ay Risa Rose. At isa naman doon kay Villanueva. Dinagdagan pa niya yan. Great spike coming from Villanueva. It wasn't a a a anything powerful, but she really targeted the long ball on that last play. Coach Obetavier not happy. Let's listen in. Tapos mo lang mag-serve sukat. Ikaw naman, ang blocking mo naman. Ano ba? Hindi ka naman nagpa-block eh. Tumataas na ang kamay mo dyan. Hindi blocking ang tawag dyan eh. 
Kung kailan simple ang bola, kung kailan simple ang bola, doon ba tayo nag-limited? Kasi anong ginagawa nyo? Binabaliwala nyo kasi yung kalaban, wala kayo respeto sa kalaban eh. Sige na isa, isa lang! Relax na tayo! As we saw on that last time out by coach Roberto, just really unhappy with the performance of his girls starting the second set and just reminded his girls to put more effort into blocking since we can see an aggressive attacking JRU this coming second set. Sabi ng gate niya doon, parang binabali, binabali wala yung kalaban kasi naman nga, pinalo nila twice itong JRU in the elimination round and in the step ladder semifinals last season. Meanwhile, service error para dito sa JRU. Tudlasan now serving for the blue shirts. Noticeably for Arellano, wala si Boku sa suman. I, I haven't seen her from the bench. Baka makabilita tayo dyan mamaya kay Sab San Diego. Meanwhile, it was that quick attack courtesy of Matawaran. Great target as well. Medyo naka the defense of JRU really moved way too forward, leaving that back row empty. Jump serve and that powerful works. Powerful serve. Coming from Laika Tudlasan. Getting that serve over. Three unanswered points. Quick reply for Arellano, so doing a good job responding to that timeout. Another good serve. Such a beauty that jump serve. Meanwhile, Risa Rose denied. Ortiz back to Risa. Off the block it goes. Risa Rose starting to heat up in the second set. And medyo again, hindi nakapayong yung blockers ng Aradiano. Scoring half of their points so far. Middle blocker, Risa Rose. Pero service error naman doon. So, point goes to the Lady Chiefs. Matawaran. Trying to get things going here for the three-time defending champions. Or I should say, three-time defend, three-time champions. Meanwhile, Laika Aguera with an attack ever. She wasn't able to clip once she held that ball, which is why it really sailed out. Seven serving six. Service ace by Kapi Matawaran. And we head into our first technical timeout. Arellano up 8 to 6. Can they see your stats? daw ang preparations ng Lady Mommers. Yan nga ang pinahagi sa akin ni Coach Mia. In fact, September 1 nga lang naman daw sila bumalik sa kanilang training. More on conditioning ang wino-work on ng team. At kahit nga na wala na ang kanilang mga key players na sina Dolly Versosa at Kia Melgar, gusto niya rin namang mag-step up ang kanyang mga senior players kagaya na Liza Rose at si Diniego. At para naman sa kabilang kubunan, susugal nga naman daw si Coach Obet this time around. Gusto niyang mag-step up ang kanyang mga metal brokers. Makikita nga rin naman natin dito a while ago nga si Robbie Matawaran. Maraming adjustments sa positioning and hoping nga na si Coach na less error na ang pakita ng team for this game. Now back to the panel. Thank you Sab and of course the aforementioned Versosa, the second best outside spiker from NCAA. That time Arellano scoring another point courtesy of that attack. Sebalos with the hit. Over. 
Dumasing. Goes to Pau de Guzman. Back set this time to Albino. The left hander connects. Net touch by the Lady Bombers. Point goes to the Lady Chiefs. Oh, there was a net touch in that last play. Oh, so net touch. But still, a great spike. Time out, JRU. Time out. Para dito sa JRU, let's listen in. Defense lang eh. Saan ba pumupunta yung bola? Dito. Pero sa defense natin, may tao talaga dyan. Okay? So, kailangan lang natin gawin yung movement earlier. Huwag niyong sabayan mapalo at sa kayo gagalaw. Okay, galaw na muna kayo habang nagmumove yung bola sa air. As we heard in the timeout by Coach Mia, reminding her girls na to move easier bago mapalo yung bola kasi medyo nakikita natin na delayed yung movement when it comes to their defense pattern. Meanwhile, Arellano on the verge of a 8-1 to run so far. And Nature Springs, the official bottled water provider of the Shaky Super League, make that 9-1 to run as the Lady Chiefs rampaging again in set number two. Great hit coming from Ceballos, breaking down the walls of the blockers of JRU. 11 serving 6. Kanina lang lamang ang, ang JRU 5 to 2. And Arellano surging ahead. Better timing on the block. Blocking department of Arellano. I believe that was Dumasig with that denial. Good thing. Dumasig goes to Sibalos. And that time, JRU stopping the bleeding. Four touches, an attack error. 10 to 1 run before that. Pau de Guzman cross court, and it's work, and it works. Nagkating na din si. Yung Nebero ng JRU and... And that spike of the set is brought to you by Potato Corner, world's best flavored fries. Order now. Lumasig, back set. De Guzman, this time she Great was blocked. Save. A kick save. JRU, good attack there. Easy over, chance for... The Lady Bombers to regroup. Punta siya dito ay Hazareno. And she connects on that cross-court hit. Kaila Hazareno. Kaila Hazareno. Great look coming from Kaila Hazareno. Targeting that cross-court corner. Rattling the defense of Arellano. 13-8. JRU still trailing here. Dumasi, quick one two. Alonia was ready. Hazareno challenging the defense. From behind was Zegera. Dumasi goes back to Pau. And why not? She delivers on that hit. Great hit coming from Pau de Guzman. Medyo na late din yung blockers ng JRU on that one. Look at that great set and great finish. And she really avoided the hands of the blockers. Smart hit coming from Pau de Guzman. 14 serving 8. Alonia goes to Hazareno. Dumasig. De Guzman. Ball still alive. Reset for the blue shirts this time. She goes to Tudlasan. Tudlasan really making her presence felt. That was a powerful hit down the line. It has been efficient ever since the first set for Ariel Diano targeting JRU's zone one area. Yung left corner. Butas para dito sa mga nakadilaw. Combination play. Rather a quick play. Para doon kay Pau de Guzman. Recalibrate dito. Back set, Sebalos. 
Azareno over two blockers. There was a check according to... Yup. Check ball. Yes. So Azareno now with two points. But JRU still trailing by six. Gil Batara. Serving for JRU. Dumasig. Pumunta ulit kay Tudlasan. Rose. Sinetap si Hazareno. But she was denied. Props to the blocking of De Guzman and Dumasig for really shutting down JRU's wing spikers. Second technical timeout here. Block by Arellano, and that block of the set is brought to you by Very Very Charcoal Chicken and Sauce Bar. Order now. 16 serving nine. Arellano ahead by seven. De Guzman with the serve. Rose rising up. Tumasig, back row attack to the Guzman. Azareno, they've been really milking her in this set. See the Guzman then from the back and it's out. Medyo hindi rin siya nakabuelo on that hit si De Guzman. But Paul De Guzman really impressive especially when they took on San Sebastián when they took on JRU actually in that step ladder semi-final scoring a team high 19 points securing that win in that final bus to the finals. Good service. Dumasig, punta kay Tudlasan, running hit. Nagkabanggaan doon at hindi na nila na-pick up yung bola. Like what Coach Mia said earlier, the girls, the JRU girls, have to just organize their defense pattern some more. The left-hander with a good serve. Rose from the middle. De Guzman from behind. May Ruiz with that awkward timing, but it works. Her timing is actually perfect. It's really, she looks like she's gonna be late to the ball, but her last two final steps make it just in time for her to still hit the top of that ball. Setup job here, Kay Rose. Dumasig. A little of a miscommunication. Three ball here. And that is a good attack there. Para dito sa Arellano. 18-11. Lumalaki na naman ang lamang. Arellano trying to bounce back from that straight sets, straight sets loss against Ateneo. Jump serve. By Tudlasan. Ruiz. Hindi natin nalun yun. Dumasig. Quick set. Maliyo ang gulo. Medyo po kayong set ni Dumasig on that last play. Matawaran. Hindi na nagawa ng paraan yung set na yun. JRU will pull in some reinforcements. Si Diegos will replace itong si Batara. Twelve serving eighteen. Dumasing. Who's to matawaran? Instant offense for Sid Niegos. There's a net touch on the Arellano side. Two straight points. First set, they were down by as much as 
Nine points, na itapyas ni Leon sa tatlo. Let's see what they do here in set number two. And good serve, a service ace for Risa Rose. This read coming from the libero of Aureliano Cuenca. She kind of hesitated on that last play. Risa Rose top scoring so far for the yellow shirts. Another good serve. And another service ace. Look at that. Risa Rosa doing damage on both ends of the floor in terms of her attacks and on the service line as well. Four unanswered points for JRU. So it's back to a three point lead. All the way from McLan. Another service ace. Doing a hat trick from the service line is Risa Rosa. Three straight service aces. And Coach Obed Javier pulling out itong si Dumasig at itong si Padillon. Casey Adante at Padillon coming into the game, ball game replacing itong si Dumasig and si Albino. Only a two point lead. And Nature Springs, the official bottled water provider of the Shaky Super League. Adante. KC, quick set, Matawaran. Great defense by Hazareno. Ruiz. She goes to Ceballos. Chance ball para dito sa Arellano and Matawaran delivers. What's really been working for Arellano is also activating their middle blockers, proving to be efficient for them. This cool play of the set is brought to you by R&D Milky. Order now. Janis Manuntag sent out by Coach Obet to serve and to play defense, replacing ito si Robbie Matawaran. 19-16. Adante goes to Ceballos down the line. Karen Ceballos with her third point. Mariliano Au up by four. Malay Abante, pinasok na dito, pinaltan muna. Ito si Laika Eguera. Twenty serving sixteen. Niegos with a wind up. Tudlasan was there. Sebalos. Alonia with a dig. Malayamante from the right. Chance ball. Pero hindi siya nakaintindihan at naregaluhan but it's out. Patilion overcoming that one. She was trying to go for that end line kasi medyo na pumasok na yung defense ng JRU. Kaso di lang niya, binaba yung braso niya. Yeah, the snap of the wrist, lacking there. Ruiz with a good serve. Amante, back set. Sky high was Patilion. Alonia to Amante. Adante goes to Ceballos of the block. Great spike coming from Karen Ceballos, breaking down the walls of JRU. And this spike of the set is brought to you by Potato Corner, world's best flavored fries. Order now. You know, every time JRU trying to come back, Mejo na a recover ng mabuti to Arellano, but as I say that, service error, so JRU again, a chance to inch closer. And in both sets, um, Arellano started with a comfortable lead, but JRU really trying to stay alive in this match. Down by as much as seven points. Talking about the Lady Bombers, uh, Alonia not able to pick up that one. Oh, that was Guzman with the hit once again. And a timeout called by JRU. Paingan natin si Coach Mia.
Okay. Tara, tara, tara. Pasok na. Isang ikot, isang ikot. Ikot tayo. Ikot tayo. Hindi pa yan tapos, ha? Okay, malayo pa yan. Block tayo ng maayos. Palo ng maayos. Basta umakit yung bola. Clip lang yung kamay nyo. Diretso tayo. Defensa, defensa. As we heard in that last timeout by Coach Mia, also just continue and continuously reminding her girls about the volleyball basics, which are passing, blocking, defense, and of course their attacks as well. And reminding them too that this set is not yet over and they can still bounce back from this deficit. Sabi niya, defensa, defensa, defensa. That time, they, they, did not play, they did not need to play the defense dahil service error para doon sa Arellano. Lucky break for GRU on that last error. Team captain Sid Niegos. Adante. Tutudlasan. That time, good defense for GRU. Hazareno. Tudlasan once again. And Sid Niegos not available for that floor defense. Tudlasan is really a powerful spiker and of course a server as well. You can see with naman sa kanyang jump serve. Pau de Guzman was actually impressive during their off-season preparation prior to the NCAA but an injury forced her to sit on the bench. Well, late on na siya. Talaga nag-emerge for Coach Obet that season. Meanwhile, Tudlasan with a wind-up. Nagkagulo na doon, Arellano. Ooh! Oh, it's out. Was out. Almost, but not quite. Another miscommunication on the part of Arellano. 23-20. JRU could not seem to break that three-point barrier so far. Azareno with the serve. Let's see if makadikit pa sila dito. Back set. And that works there for Marian Padillon. This spike of the set is brought to you by Potato Corner. World's best flavored fries. Order now. Set point once again for Arellano. KC goes to Matawaran, and that doesn't go over. Four touches. Four touches. Coach Mia, naniguro na dito. Laurente, pinasok na dito. Pinalitan mo na si CZ Rosario. Still a three-point lead for Arellano. Indai with a good serve. Adante, back set. Tudlasan from the right flank. Alonia goes to Ruiz. Cross court. Running set. Good recovery. Adante, back set. Tudlasan punctuates. Set number two with that impressive attack. Laika Tudlasan with four points in this set. And that point finishing off JRU here in set number two. As Arellano up two sets to none.
say hello to our face of the game and it's brought to you by Shakey's. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. Kung nagtata kayo ko sino yan, walang iba kundi si JRU legend Dolly Versosa watching her former team play. But right now, they are trailing by two sets. Of course, Dolly Versosa, the second best outside spiker in the NCAA season 97 as we take a look at some of the highlights of the set, second set, Kayla. Of course, we see Aureliano being more efficient with their attacks and, of, and their setter able to set up good plays for all their spikers. And a lot of them are contributing. The points are not just coming from one spiker. And of course, JRU has to communicate better this coming set because they're still their floor defense. That's right, of course, itong JRU led 5-2. Pero Arellano uncorking a 10-1 run and never went back. Let's take a look at some of the statistics in set number 2, Gayla. Arellano, of course, leading by 5 points in terms of attacks and, and blocks, blocking as well. Of course, if they're able to minimize their errors, then they can seal this match in a faster way. Will JRU recover or will Arellano book their first win here? That violation. That violation in this set is brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. Adante with the serve. And countering with a service error of her own. So we've got May Ruiz, Malay Amante, Sid Niegos, Hazareno, and Inday Laurente. And waiting in the wings is Risa Rose. Samantala naman for Arellano, we have Casey Adante who sets up Trina Abay. Also, we have uh, Manuntag, Tudlasan, at ito si Padillon. Another attack error called on Tudlasan for hitting the antenna. Tudlasan, Ceballos, and Pauline de Guzman doing damage for Arellano in that second set. Back set, Tudlasan. And off the block, May Ruiz scores. May Ruiz now, after a good first set. Binalik na dito ni Coach Mia in set number three. Kung baka hindi na in effect yung all to play rule here so expect the best players to step up here. Meanwhile Sid Niegos return to center. Great timing coming from Sid, Sid Niegos' end. Great start here for, for JRU and this block of the set is brought to you by Fairy Fairy Charcoal Chicken and Sauce Bar. Order now. Service and sayang, momentum na sa side ng JRU pero may service error doon. That jump serve. Looking good for Tudlasan. Sid Niegos, gumawa ng paraan. Quick set, Trina Abay. Amante unable to recover. It's now 4-3. What do you like most about Tudlasan's game so far, uh, Kayla? What I love about her is that her Jump serve is so consistent. Right on you! Right on you! <laughs> so, oh, it's filled with so much power. And of course, the jump serve kasi is really high risk and high reward. But watching her, she makes it look so easy. Let's just hope I don't jinx it. <laughs> Let's see on this next service attack. Dito kay uh, Tudlasan. Oh, Another <laughs> service <laughs> ace! Back to back for Naika Tudlasan. And that's enough to grab the lead. Para dito sa Arellano, four straight points, forcing Coach Mia to call timeout. Hindi ako pwede lumagpastas sa kanina. Nagrestaran kayo. Nagrestaran kayo. Pagkatapos.
As we heard in the timeout by Coach Mia, she just reminded her girls on how to properly read if a service is gonna sail out or not. And if it's over your shoulder, that usually means it's gonna be sailing out. Meanwhile, Sab San Diego has this report, Sab. Ingat, ng team captain na si Sid Niegos ng Lady Bombers na ang team daw ay naka-semi bubble meaning limitado pa rin ang paglabas nila nang tanungin ko si Coach Mia about this sabi niya sa akin ay para din naman daw sa safety ng team according pa kay Sid Niegos na mas okay daw na sama-sama sila sila daw ay mahilig mag-zumba every Sunday after hearing na si Coach daw ang uh, nagpalagay pa ng table tennis para mas mag-bonding pa ang Dahil as of the moment, we will work on pangarin naman din ng chemistry ng Lady Bombers outside and inside the court. Back to the panel. Thank you, Sav. And take a look at that block point there by Arellano, who was number one in the blocking department no nakarang NCA Season 97. Laurente goes to Malay. Set up here for Janice Manuntag. Indai. Goes to Mayor Weiss. Good dig there by Cuenca. This time, Sid Niegos in the middle finds a spot in the corner. Sid Niegos finding that empty zone one target, which really worked for her and her squad. So, GRU recovering after five straight points from Arellano. Casey Adante, always the smart player that she is, getting that point. She is an offensive setter. Attacking setter talaga siya. And ang impressive, hindi siya ganung katangkaran. But yes, but she's able to really read the court of her opponent, which is why all her one-two plays have been successful. Adante this time sets up Manuntag. Hazareno was there. Laurente goes back to Mayor Ruiz. Matindaan sends the ball over. Chance for Jeru to regroup. Running attack by Malay. Back set. Inday. Tudlasan was there. Quick set. And Matindaan delivers. And we head into our first technical timeout. But first. This is our cool play of the set brought to you by R&B Milk Tea. Order now, 8 to 5, Arellano, don't go away. Memorial Coliseum for the match, our final match of the weekend between JRU and Arellano. Thank you very much for all those people watching us on the Plus Network digital platforms and the Shaky Super League Facebook and YouTube channel. As we'd like to thank Nature Spring, the official bottled water provider of the Shaky Super League. And the rampage continues for Arellano. Another amazing hit coming from Marian Padillon. So much power and a smart player as well. 8 to 1 run for Arellano. Jerry was up 4 to 1 early on. Amante from the right. Great recovery by Padillon. Indai sets up Risa Rose. Abay with the over. Laurente, punta kay May Ruiz. And she finally connects. And 
the good thing with the great thing with May Ruiz is she's not really a high leaping spiker, but she knows where to bring that ball in order to generate that point for her squad. So you titig nan mo kila hindi siya mong athletic but really effective. Meanwhile, cross court attack. Para dito kay Padilion. Padilion scoring two points here in the set. Subs coming in, Mia Dino and Dumasig replacing Casey Adante and team captain Trina Abay. Or actually, it was Padillon, so Abay coming out for the Libero. 10 serving 6. Laurente, Teresa Rose, Cuenca, good up. Punta dito kay Kudlasen. Risa Rose, not enough juice on that one. This time there by Risa Rose. Medyo binaba niya yung kamay niya. And the set was far from the net. And you know, for JRU, they had a tough time in the NCAA last season. Minanggit nga ni Sab about that report. Yung semi-bubble na setup nila. As Malayamante with another error. Actually, they started out with two straight wins, but they absorbed three straight losses against Papua, San Sebastian, and Arellano. But scored a must-win game against San Beda before coming back by two sets and three points down in the fifth set against the Lyceum Pirates to advance to the semifinals. So up and down, yun naging journey nitong mga nakadilaw in their NCAA campaign. Meanwhile, Maduntag off the block. Chance ball for the blue shirts. And Matau and rather Matindan answers with a quick hit. Look at that play set up for Matindan. Finding that spot and getting that point. Dodi Matindan with, with her third point. 13 serving 6. Medyo matagal na napako sa 6 itong JRU. At that time, Hazarelo scoring there. Finding the spot in the middle. Malay Amante at the service line. Rather, it's Laika Eguera. Trailing by 6. Manuntag from the opposite end. And now doubling the score, 14-7. Let's see if JRU can come back again, like just like what they have been doing in the prior sets. Or if Arellano can keep gaining that comfortable lead. Laurente goes to Risa Rose on the running attack. Matindaan. Dumasing. Pinatawid na lang bola. Laurente with a back set. What an impressive smart hit play. from the setter. A smart play coming from Laurente. <laughs> and she's not, as we mentioned earlier, she's really not a tall setter, but still manages to be an offensive one. And that cool play of the set is brought to you by RNB Milk Tea. Order now. Fooling the defense there. Although, malaki pa rin ang kailang hinahabol. 8-14. Tudlasan, and that is inside. Tudlasan really finding the line. As we, what we've mentioned earlier, she's so powerful and she's a high leaper as well. And kanina rin, back-to-back -back service aces. I think that was three service aces from her, consecutive. Dumasig, back set to Mia Dino. And right now, Arellano surging ahead here. They are up here, 16 to 8. An 8-point lead, looking to grab their first win.
back with us here at the Rizal Memorial Coliseum for our match between JRU and Arellano. But before that, this fun family pizza of the game is brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. Glad to have you here on a Sunday evening enjoying this volleyball action. But Arellano looking good so far. They've won the first two sets and now on the verge of finishing off JRU un unless they mount a miraculous comeback here as to Blasan. She has been the hot hand so far for Coach Obet Javier. But that time, good reply for the yellow shirts. May Ruiz with a counter there. Let's see if makadikit pa ang JRU dito. Dumasig. Goes to Tudlasan. Laurente, quick set. Niegos. Abay. Alonia not ready for that. Smart hit coming from Abay. Just targeting that long ball area. So Padillon and Adante will come back replacing Dumasig and Mia Dino. Mia Dino actually started out hot in this game. Scoring five points in the first set. Setting really the tone for this match. Laurente goes to May Ruiz. And specialty of the house by Trina Abay. Of course, this is really expected from Arellano and their blocking. They're the, as you mentioned earlier, they're the number one team when it comes to blocking. And that block of the set is brought to you by Berry Berry Charcoal Chicken and Sauce Bar. Order now. Mia Toseko calling for a timeout. Okay. Matataranta kayo kasi mabilis sila pumalo. Eh kung nasa pwesto kayo, tatapatan lang naman natin yun eh. Tapos ready tayo to move. Okay? 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 Ready tayo to move. Back with us here at the Rizal Memorial Coliseum, Coach Mia Nino pleading and egging on her players. Hindi pa tapos ang laban. But Arellano on the verge of a 17-5 to run. Kaya naman, dinoble na nila yung score dito, 89. Laurente sets up Niegos. Abay was there again for the denial. Ruiz. Tudlasan resets, and that doesn't go over. Rare attack error coming from Tudlasan. And alam naman natin, yung Group C is called the Group of Death. So, yes. kabilang sila alongside Ateneo and NU. Yes, and there are only four in that group. That's what... Every every game really counts for them. That's so really a tricky part, Kayla. Because other brackets have five teams. Yes. Samantala, yung pool C and D only four teams. So mas mga may pros and cons then. And yung kasama mo pa are top teams from the UAAP. That's right. Actually, that pool C, all of them either semi-finalists or finalists of their respective teams. Also respective competitive. Leagues, rather. Yes. 19 serving 11. And you know what's really nice about it is you can see UAAP teams and NCAA teams play against each other, and we rarely get to see that. Yup, alam natin na historic itong tournament ito, the very first time na all of those teams are in one tournament. Exactly. And of course, gives opportunity then for these girls to play. I'm sure everyone's really hungry to play, especially from that stop during the pandemic. And also preparing for their upcoming UAAP and NCAA tournaments. And the maganda dito sa Shaky Super League, Kayla, we're seeing new faces emerge in all of our teams. And the rookies pa, yung kumagawa. And the maganda dito, abangan pa ng ating volleyball fans as Ceballos will replace Trina Abay. Hailing from Bacolod, doing a great job. The maganda dito, Kayla, mayroon pang apat na teams na hindi pa naglalaro. That's EAC, Letran, NU, and Lyceum. 
So we've yet to see those teams in action. And for sure, they'll, they'll be having games next weekend. Laurente sets up Risa Rose cross court works. Risa Rose! Risa Rose targeting that. On, it was right on the line. And that Great spike target. on the set is brought to you by Potato Corner, world's best flavored fries. Order now. Ooh, it's a service ace. Para dito kay May Luis. She's really a good server as well. Mabigat eh. May and rinig mo sa palo niya. It sa floats, floats as well. That's right. And that doesn't go over. So three straight points for JRU still alive. Fifteen twenty. Oh, that time it's out. The point goes to Arellano. Of course, the Lady Chiefs have produced players such as Regine Arrocha, two-time Finals MVP, si Nicole Ebuen, and also the Finals MVP ng NCAA Season 92, Jovelin Prado, who was actually yung inspiration nito ni Trina Abay. Eguera with the off-speed attack. Kaso, pero error, net, net touch violation para dito sa JRU. 22 serving, 15. You know, Kayla, we, we've been covering this uh, shaky Super League for three days already. How was the experience so far for you? Well, for me, this is my first time being a sports analyst. And I'm really enjoying because I also am a volleyball fan other than being a other than playing the sport myself and it's so fulfilling to see and of course thrilling to see so many new faces also of course girls who have gone against the four so much talent we have new talent familiar faces and a great show of skill by all our players here just like that Azareno, ito bagong mukha actually ito for JRU. Solid game, although yun nga, uh, Arellano is really on the verge of grabbing their first win. Manuntag, cross court, Azareno. Adante, munti ka na doon, Alonia slipping there. And that probably distracted yung kakampi niya. 23-17. The three-time champions looking to bounce back. Ooh, and it's a service ace. This brings us to match point. Janis Manunta converting there. Another good serve. That was right on the line. Oh, it flips the line. Back to back service aces to finish off this match. Arellano University prevailing over JRU Lady Bombers in straight sets 25 21, 25 21, and 25 17. Arellano booking their first win of the Shaky Super League. And so many heroes to choose from here. As we take a look, Arellano in straight sets. We'll pause for a quick break. We'll be right back.
back here for the Shaky Super League. Arellano booking their first win, emerging against the Jose Rizal Lady Bombers 25-21, 25-21, and 25-17. And so many players to choose from with a balanced attack for Arellano, but who did you pick as the best player of the game, Kayla? Well, it was so hard for me to choose a player of the game, but I ended up choosing Tutlasan because she was a force really with her attacks and of course on the service line as well and her consistency. We saw that even if her serve was a jump serve, she didn't commit any service error. And yeah, so many talented girls from this Aureliano squad. And she's now joined courtside by Sab San Diego. Sab? Ayan na nga ngayon kasama nga natin ang MVP of the match. We have Laika Tudlasan. Laika, ano ba sa tingin mo ang uh, nag-work para sa team? Um, um, first of all po is, ang alam ko po is yung communication namin. Mas lalo po kami naging ngayon ngayon. Tas, ito po yung kulang namin kapon kaya winner po namin ngayon. Ayan, so speaking of yung mga kinulang, ano naman ba ngayon ang uh, mga iiwan nyo sa game na ito? Um, Ito lang po yung mag-enjoy lang sa game, tsaka walang pressure, tas laban lang, tas uh, yung communication at connections ng team po. Tama nga naman, pero ayan na nga, syempre ngayon, ikaw ay makakareceive ng Shakey's Pizza para nga sa game na ito. So ano naman ba ang message mo sa Shakey's? Um, thank you po sa Shakey's for, uh, this is a great um, um, exposure for us sa uh, Especially me as a rookie po, this is my first ano po, big event na nasalihan sa volleyball po. Ayan, pero nga bago ang lahat, meron ka pa bang gustong batiin? <laughs> Actually, marami po. So, first of all, hi to, to the Lassan family, Mama, Papa, and Inday, Manoy, Kobe, and Ace. That's, hi sa inyo, and for all my friends na nasa bahay namin po nanonood, and all Toboranons, hi, and also po sa Team Ruins, and Spike Sports po. Thank you so much and especially to my person po. Thank you. Once again, congratulations nga ulit sa Lady Chiefs. Now, back to the panel. Papizza ka naman, Laika. And that MVP of the match is brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. Arellano really setting the tone. First set pa lang, Kayla. Yes, and we saw that so many of Arellano Spikers contributed. They actually almost had the same amount of attack points. Also, what showed in today's match was they were more aggressive at the net. But that's expected coming from NCAA, the NCAA's number one blocking team. They were more efficient when it came to their attacks. And they were more consistent overall because of their minimal errors all throughout this match. Although, JRU, hindi naman nagpapa ulit. They were, they, they were down by as much as seven points here in set number two. Managed to Trim it down to three points, but Arellano winning it 25-21. Pagdating ng set number three, Arellano was just rolling. Manuntag, nagambag din. Rina Amay was instrumental, especially in her blocking. Casey Adante with her smart plays. And of course, eto si Laika Tudlasan. Nagpailala na dito. And this is the beautiful part of the Shaky Super League. New faces emerging from the shadows. And nakikilala natin sila isa't isa dito. A valiant effort from May Ruiz and the JRU Lady Bombers, but unfortunately falling short as they drop to 0 and 1. So, tingnan natin ating match. And actually, we have. Uh, that does it for us on behalf of Kayla Reyes, Sab San Diego, and our hardworking production team. This has been Ken Pangalinan. Thank you, and see you again next weekend, only here at the Shaky Super League.